ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Rainbow Six Siege video. In this video we'll be discussing and going over the official patch notes for Operation Phantom Sight. We're going to be taking a look at the best changes and discuss them. Before we continue please drop a like if you're excited for Phantom Sight and leave a comment letting me know if you're going to be there when it releases day one. It helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. Now let's begin. Now first up, there's quite a bit of information about the two newest operators, Warden and Nook. But I've already gone over them a few times in a few different videos, so we're just going to go ahead and skip over them. If you don't know about them and want to know more, I'll leave a pinned comment down below linking those videos. So you can go and watch those and get some more in-depth information, you know, really dig deep into it. The first big change coming in this patch is the Cafe Map Rework. As you can see, pretty much every floor was changed. The first floor's main entrance now resembles a lobby with multiple areas to take advantage of. The second floor has a new set of bomb sites. They're called fireplace and reading room. Also, the main stairs have been moved. The third floor has been changed probably the most. Cocktail lounge and cigar shop have been completely rearranged. Each room has gotten a balcony opposite of each other. In addition to that, the southeast corner staircase now has a barrier to limit angles that could be held, so, you know, that's uh, that's always good. And that's it for the actual changes to the layout. With Phantom Sight actually releases, I'll show you all the changes, like, in the map if you want me to, so you can actually kind of get more of a better representation. And if you do want me to do that, go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know. Next, we're told that the reverse friendly fire will continue to be improved. Eventually, explosions and toxic gas will affect the player that actually, you know, through them and put them in RFF, but uh, not at the moment, so we'll just have to wait and see what changes are actually made. Then we have some ranked playlist changes. These I'm actually really excited for. For starters, pick and ban will now be standard in every match. So yay, that, that's always good. I've been asking for that for a while. It makes ranked a lot more interesting in my opinion, and I'm excited that it's actually, you know, in the game and not just in Pro League. In addition to that, we also have three round rotations and Bomb is now the only game mode. For ranked so no more ranked hostage for all those fuse mains i'm so sorry but uh yeah i'm sorry we also get a glimpse of the new storefront which the ui is way cleaner and it looks a lot cooler and just better instead of just having a lot of lists and menus and we get to see the legion late skin which i also did a video on so go check that one out for a full look at the skin and actually like the skin showcase finally we get a good look at all the operator changes now this this is the exciting stuff Glaz's thermal scope will now be changed. If he stands still, his thermal outline will be bright and easy to see. If he moves in any direction, the bright yellow color will continue to dim, making enemies harder to see through smoke or just at all. The scope's intensity will also be displayed on the side of the scope, so I'm guessing we'll have some kind of UI meter or something like that. Finca's nanobots will now get rid of the ringing sound caused from explosives. Smoke will now get the vortex optic for his FMG9. And the D50 can now be equipped with a muzzle brake or suppressor. So this is kind of a buff to Valkyrie and Blackbeard. Other than that, we have a ton of minor bug fixes, you know, just like simple, like easy stuff, boring stuff, really. Like there's easily 50 to 60 bug fixes, so you can go check the patch notes if you want to and go through them. But to summarize, two new operators, cafe reworked, rank changes, changes to glass, smoke, finca, and the D50 handgun. And that is Phantom Sight. And that's going to be it for this video. I want to hear from you guys. Are you excited for Operation Phantom Sight? Do you like the two new operators? And are you hyped for the cafe map rework? I don't know, so let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing Rainbow Six Siege content. I'm the Battle Moon, and I will see you in the next Siege.